Good day. My name is Richard and a warm welcome to Tutoring with Richard, where we cover the South African school syllabus and native topics. Today we're going to cover Mathematics in 6. The topic of this tutorial is Centroid of an Area. Let's get straight into it. Okay, first thing we need to understand is that we have different formulas for different things. So, D of an area is the integral of y dx. Right, so a m o x is the integral of y over 2. A. Okay. A M O Y is the integral is X. Is X DA. Okay. And X bar equals a M O Y over A and Y bar A M O X over A. Okay. What we first need to do is get a sum. But I've done all your formulas that you will need. Now we're going to go get the sum. So the sum is y is equal to sine x. Right. What we have here is x is equal to 0, x is equal to pi. And y equals to 0. For context of what we're doing, for context, for context about what we're doing, this is our graph. So from, this is the x-axis. And that's pi, and that's zero. This is the y-axis. Right. So from there, and this is y over two. And that's y over 2. So between there and there, between the halfway point, is y over 2. So that'll give you an indication of what we need here. So, now what we have is we're going to work at dA. dA equals the integral of y dx. Which is pretty straightforward. So, it is the integral of sine x dx. Okay. So now the area equals pi sine x dx. Okay. So this will equal minus cos x pi and 0 this will equal minus cos pi minus minus cos 0 
Okay, so what this means in general terms is that cos pi, cos pi, which is cos 180. So 180 cos is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. So that is 1. And also, cos 0 is positive 1, but we have negative cos. So negative times a negative is a positive. So 1 plus 1 equals 2 units. So, that is done. Now, what we need to do is say, now we've got two units, which is A. So A is equal to 2. Right, that'll be important later. So, now what we need to focus on, now what we need to focus on is another, is another part of the sum, in which In which a m o x equals the integral of y over 2 dA. And dA is sine x. So it's sine x dx, which is dA. Right, so what we need to do is y y is sine x, so sine x over 2, so that is a half sine x times sine x dx, and there's an integral. Right, now we're still working with our integral of pi and 0. So now, sine times sine is sine squared, so it is the integral of pi and 0, a half sine squared x. Okay, so now what you're going to do is take this half and move it outside. So, a half pi over 0 sine squared x. sine squared x. Now sine squared x, for this particular case, will be, its identity will be, it has an identity, a half integrate, zero, half minus a half cos 2x. Okay, so for this case, so for this particular case, what we're going to do is just say that now we integrate this, which is pretty basic. So all we have to do is integrate. So with integrating, so, with integrating comes a whole new possibility. So, this will be half pi over zero, half, now make this a square bracket, a half x minus a half sine x. Sine of 2x 
Okay, now next what we do is all we have to do next is just multiply a half in and we get a quarter. So a quarter x minus a half times a half is a quarter is a quarter sine 2x now this is pi and 0 so now we got a quarter pi minus a quarter sine times pi minus a quarter of zero minus a quarter sine two times zero we are left with is sine any sine with any zero and sine you are left with zero so this is two times zero is zero sine zero is zero zero times a quarter is zero and a quarter times zero is zero so a quarter times pi now sine two pi is zero so a quarter times that is zero so we are left with one quarter pi. So we are left with one quarter pi. One quarter pi. Units squared. So A M O X equals one quarter. Yeah, that'll be important for just now. Now this works, uh, A-M-O-Y, A-M-O-Y, works like this, it is X, it is X times D-A. So, D-A as we know is Y, D-X. integration by parts. So, this is u and that's v prime. It's u and that's v prime. So, what we're going to do is say we're going to go down here. We're going to say u, which is x, v, so if I remember my formula correctly, 
u v minus integral of u prime v. Right, so I've got to take the integral of sine x, which is minus cos. So minus cos x minus the integral of 1 times minus, so that becomes sine. So we've got x minus cos x minus or plus sine x. Pi and 0. So what we have now is pi minus cos pi plus sine pi. Put that in the bracket, minus 0 minus cos 0 plus sine 0. Okay, so now all these zeros, so this is minus times a minus is a positive, so that's plus. Zero times one is zero, plus zero. So you're getting nothing out of that one. What you are getting out of this one is the sine pi. Is zero. Sine of one eighty is zero. So and cos at one eighty is zero. So what we are left with on all counts. are left with on all counts is pi. So we are left with pi. Units squared. I'm oh, sorry, units cubed. Alright, we are left with pi units cubed. So A M O Y we are left with pi. Okay. So, what we want is x bar and y bar. So, now we're going to get x bar and y bar. But we needed to have a m o x and a m o y in order to get those. So, what we're going to do now is x bar. A M O Y over A and Y bar A M O X over A. Okay. So what we have now A M O Y is X bar is pi over two. And that stays like that. A M O X is Y bar a quarter pi over two. So this is a one eighth pi. And this is our coordinates of the centroid. That is how you do that. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. It really helps with the algorithm and to grow the channel. 
Positive feedback is most welcome. I really enjoy reading your comments. Please leave your comments in the comments section. Let me know what topics you'd like me to cover in the upcoming videos. Be at peace, be kind to each other, and remember, passing well is achievable. Have a great day. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.